Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to talk about how do you know your alternator is overcharging your car battery. So basically, a typical alternator will produce approximately 13.2 to about 14.5 volts. Anything above that, let's just say 15 volts and over, it is definitely an overcharging state. So if the alternator is producing too much voltage, usually caused by a failed, failed uh, voltage regulator or excessive rust, it can cause the uh, car battery to start to overheat and cause all sorts of issues. So when a battery is receiving too much voltage, it can cause the electrolyte inside to boil over and that will cause the battery case to start to expand and start to bulge outward. It can cause the uh, battery case to start to crack and you may also notice leakage across the, uh, the battery around the area. The next common sign is going to be electrical issue. So one of the first thing you may notice is that the headlights or the tail light, the bulbs start to become brighter than normal. So basically when this happens, you know that the bulbs, light bulbs are receiving more power than it should. So when that happens, the light bulb can start to glow much brighter and eventually cause it to blow. It can also cause the fuse to blow as well. On top of that, you may notice a lot of electrical issue on a vehicle. For example, you may notice the dashboard start to illuminate a lot of different lights, warning lights. You may also notice the radio start to have some sort of issue. Maybe this, you might have a display issue. You may notice the airbags light turning on. You may notice all sorts of these little odd electrical issues. For example, let's just say the door is starting to randomly click on and off and so on. So these are basically some signs that the alternator basically producing too much power in the electrical system. The next symptom is going to be check engine light. So when you have an overcharging state, it can trigger the check engine light. So basically it can trigger a lot of different codes, basically circuit codes. You may notice that there's going to be a lot of random codes showing up that probably don't really make much sense. So that's because a lot of components may start to fail and just may not work properly. On top of that, if something is receiving too much power, usually these accessories are protected by fuses and relays and you might find that fuses start to blow or relays start to fail as well. Besides having a bad voltage regulator that can cause the alternator to produce more power than it should, it is also possible that a bad computer or ECM can cause the uh, alternator to produce more power than it should. So if you suspect that the computer that may be the issue, you may want to get that checked out. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.